so in the previous uh, session we had learned about the certificates how to have a client server communication successfully and as i have told you in this session we will be learning ab uh, about something known as auto signing what is auto signing so if you still remember i hope you will that once the client will send the certificate it is on discretion of the server that whether he want to approve it or not which is good no doubt it's a good practice you should be controlling being a puppet server admin that which machines i will be managing but in case you are working in a test environment that you might want to skip this step so we have something known as auto signing available in puppet so let's do that so what will happen as soon as the client will send the request it will automatically get signed by the puppet server so first i will revoke any certificates puppet cert list hyphen hyphen all let me revoke the certificate so i give puppet cert revoke p agent dot example dot com so i'm revoking the certificate first and then cleaning it so it should be appearing with a minus symbol now let's clean it to remove it from my database clean so i have i don't have any trace of p agent which is good now i will go back to the server and will sorry the node and will move into etc puppet labs puppet and remove this folder we had done it in the previous session also removed it so for auto signing what all you need to do is that in this particular directory at c puppet labs puppet i need to create a file auto sign.conf so you need to use the same name if i show you puppet config print all and i do a grab of auto so you will see here auto sign.conf this is a file where puppet looks for this file auto sign.conf so please use the same name in case you want to change it then you need to write this whole parameter and the value attribute and the value in the puppet.com file and give a new name so i'm not doing it so i go to the same location i create a file auto sign.com and either you can specify the whole domain name which you can or you can specify a specific machine also that this machine is allowed to have a auto signing so fine i am doing it for the whole domain but yes you can uh, do it for the particular machine also so i save and come out i just need to restart my puppet server this is a small step but yeah i would not recommend this to be uh, having allowing the whole domain in the production environment you should avoid it and in case it is required you should be allowing it only for your trusted machines not for all the machines so let's wait for it just a moment it will take its time so now as soon as we will restart the service the puppet server will take the request and will automatically sign it because of my configuration in auto sign dot conf file okay so let me show you this file once again this is it the whole domain and current scenario is this puppet cert list iphone iphone all i don't have any trace of p agent okay so now if i go here and just run the puppet agent hyphen tv which is all is required from the agent side you will see a different message some lengthy message will be appearing right on the screen see the certificate request everything is in the added in the environment production that's great so if i give the same command again you'll find that yes it is automatically signed so th this is how you can a small step very useful in test environment not recommended in production environment it, it's only your discretion how you want to use it but yes auto signing can be enabled
तो वंस दिस इज डन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी लेट्स राइट सम कोड ऑन द पपेट सर्वर एंड इट शुड बी अप्लाइड ऑन द पपेट नोड सो दैट विल बी डूइंग इट इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच